hello lovelies welcome back to my channel how are you all doing hope you are staying safe so in today's video we'll be making this beautiful style and our fabric is folded into four we are cutting our back and our front bodies together and you can see i have a little bit of excess at the end that will serve as our zipper allowance so i just marked the line to um start as a starting point and also mark out the label on the um, African print I'm using and our measurement is going to be starting from the first fold that's the center front the first thing I did is to mark half of my shoulder measurement which is 12 inches divided by 2 in fact my my shoulder measurement is 11 inches I added half inch for joining of this sleeve that that's why we have 6.6 6 inches then i went down with that same 6 inches for our armhole depth and then i marked my half length plus one inch allowance for joining i'm just going to mark the line across so that you guys can be you can see what we are doing very well then the next thing i did is to mark down my shoulder measurement that i marked earlier downward to meet our armhole measurement and for our shoulder slope, I'm going down by one inch for the shoulder slope and I'm going to go ahead and connect it to the starting line, that's the shoulder line. Then after that, we're going to go ahead and insert our bust measurement divided by four. And my bust measurement divided by four is um, 6.5 inches. And then I'm going to be adding 1.5 inch, inches allowance station in station allowance then for my waistline my waistline divided by four is seven inches this um my the client's tummy is a little bit bigger than the bust because they are children so i just connected the line and then i'm going to go ahead and make a curve at the armhole to give it um a to shape out the the armhole And that's basically all for now for the bodies. I hope you're enjoying this video. Please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you haven't subscribed up to this morning, moment, join the growing family. And don't forget to share my videos too. <laughs> so this is the bodies after we are done cutting it. I'm going to go ahead and arrange this way. Well. I'm just trying to take out the zipper allowance so i'm going to go and make a food where my zipper allowance started and i'll make a notch there at the back bodies just the back bodies i'm just using the front body to be to know the exact exact place the zipper allowance started so once i make that notch the notches are the up and the down part i'm going to separate it as i remove the front body and then for the back one i'm going to place it together front facing front and then i'm going to go ahead and pink pin along that zipper area that i, I notched i'll pin it at the up upper side and then i'll pin it at the um half length side as well once i make that pin i'm going to fold in this is if you have line at this moment please go ahead and iron it down i'm just trying to create a line to be sure where my zipper allowance is so once I folded that part, I'm going to go ahead and use my um, pin to um, secure that area, just like you see me do. This is not necessary if you have light to iron it down. But for me, I do not have light today, so I am using my pin to keep it in place. So once I am done with that, I'm just going to open it up. And then my zipper allowance, both my zipper allowance is moved to one side. I hope you can see it that the zipper allowance is flipped to one side and once i am done with that i'm going to go ahead and open my um front bodies place it on my back bodies you can see both of them are the same equal size because have, we've taken out our zipper allowance and i'm going to go ahead and pin this down just to keep it in place Once I am done pinning it, we are going to go ahead to cut out the monostripe um, neckline. And the first, first thing I did is to measure my shoulder area so that we can divide it into two. And I have 12 inches. So I am going to go ahead and mark as 6 inches. 
and then from that six inches line that we marked i'm going to go ahead going towards the left uh, my left side i am taking two inches out that's why i'm marking two inches for one side of the neck and then from that two inches that we marked i'm going to go down by 2.5 inches downward and make a point there i hope you understand this that's two inches for the width and then 2.5 inches for the length but we are just marking at one side we are not extending it to the other side and then at my armhole line i am going down by 3.5 inches so i'm going to go ahead and connect these two points that i am marked but the con i'm not going to be using a straight line to connect it we are going to curve it at the um where i am now where i'm just showing you guys at the um, um, neckline i'm just going to connect curve it and then try to find my way to the armhole just make sure the line is not straight is um, a little bit curvy if you look at the picture that we are working with and that's all for the neckline i'm going to go ahead and cut this out so for my flame my fabric has been folded into four if you don't know how to fold or different types know how to cut different types of flame i have a tutorial on that in my channel i'm going to put it in the description box please check it out so i've already gone ahead to fold my fabric my table is small so i couldn't show how to fold it but check out the video is well explained i'm just making a rough estimate where my waist measurement divided by four is going to fall and once i have that i'm going to start measuring from there and from there i have five inches so i'm going to measure five inches all around once i am done measuring the five inches the next thing i did is to measure the length to know whether i have the um inches that i wanted and yes i do i have eight inches remember our half length is seven inches so we have eight inches we need for zipper allowance and then also to plate a little bit of um allowance at the at the seam line in case there's any need for adjustment then from that five inches i'm going to mark the remaining of my measurement that's my total measurement minus my my minus my half length whatever that is remaining is what i am marking here and plus one inch allowance for joining of the half length and then for hemming of the flay of the gown once i am done with that i'm going to go ahead and then cut this house out And then I'm going to go ahead and open one side of the flare so that we can have um, a back, a back, um, a zip allowance or a zip opening. Then for the fabric I'm going to be using for the other sleeve. Remember we cut out 3.5 inches. That that's seven inches from the back to the front. Then I cut out eight inches. Um, I added half half inches to join it. And then for the width, I have um on full 2.5 inches, uh, 2 inches if I'm not mistaken. So I went ahead to stitch it down at one side. And then I'm going to go ahead and turn it to the other side. That's to the right side. Once I am done turning it, if you have light at this moment, please iron it down to keep it, to make it neater. So we're going to go ahead and attach this to our front bodies and for this i have cut i went, I went ahead to cut out my front body into two i'm going to be using one for my lining if you have your normal lining please make use of it and this we are going to be attaching when you look at the bodies you see the line for the shoulder where our shoulder stopped so that's exactly where we are going to attach this if you don't know please remeasure it but the marking on our fabric is showing us where it is or let's say the curve at the armhole area so once i place it around that area i'm going to go ahead and pin this down okay. 
once i am done pinning it down the next thing i'm going to do is to stitch from the one side of the neckline onto the armhole just like you see me showing you we are not doing the other side of the armhole because we are going to attach our sleeve there so once i am done i'm going to go ahead and make notches around the armhole and also the neckline and then we are going to go ahead and turn it inside out and also made cut a little bit of out at that armhole so that to reduce um the bulge there so i'm going to go ahead and turn it to the right side and this is what we have just like i keep mentioning if you have light at this moment please go ahead and iron this down then for the back one i've already also gone ahead to cut out fabrics for it um like i mentioned i'm using my um, the same fabric for my lining so this is how we are going to be placing the back bodies by the time we are done stitching it this is how it's going to be so i'm going to go ahead and attach the other side of the strap to the back bodies and for i'm just trying to get <laughs> to get to make sure that i'm i placed it in the proper form so just like we did at the front part i'm going to go ahead and place this inside our fabric once i am done placing it in I'm going to cover it up with my lining and then pin it down just like we did for the front part. And then I'm going to open it up to be sure that I have exactly what I wanted by the time I stitch it down. I do not want to stitch and then lose it up. So as I notice that what I pin down is what i want and that's that's the result is going to give me by the time i stitch it down i turn it to the left side and i'm going to go ahead and stitch the armhole to this to the neck from the neckline to the armhole and the, to, to the other side of the back i'm going to stitch the remaining neckline and then we are not stitching at the other side of the armhole just like i said earlier so this is it after i was done stitching it down i went ahead to make notches around that area armhole area and then turn it to the right side and then for the other side of the back i will do the same thing i'll make notches around the neckline and then turn it to the right side so this is what we have when we are done the next thing i did is to place my other front back bodies on the on my front bodies and then i'm going to go ahead and stitch on the arm on the shoulder line sorry you can as well do invisible stitching which i've been doing so much in this channel you can check out some of my other videos and do that but for me i just did um front facing front and this is the fabric for our filet the filet we have the short and the long one and for the short one i have six inches by six inches for the fabric i cut out and then for the bigger one i have seven inches by seven inches and meanwhile this fabric is folded into four that's it's like you want to cut your flay and then for my sleeve my round sleeve is five inches plus my allowance that's six inches so six inches divided by four we have three twelve inches sorry divided by four um we have um three inches so that three inches i'm going to make i marked at two inches by the time i am done marking at the two inches i measured it and i have three inches what i wanted so from there i'm going to mark the length of my flay and for the big one i have five inches and i'm marking five inches all around i hope you understand what i meant when i said i was talking about the radius of the armhole my armhole is 10 inches plus 2 inches allowance for joining that's 12 inches so that 12 inches divided by 4 is what we i used to mark the radius i hope you get it now so i'm just placing the two fabrics together so that we can cut out the um, armhole out together instead of cutting it separately and once i am done with it i cut out the length of my big flay and then for the short one i'm going to measure i measure at 3.5 inches as well and then i'll measure it round before cutting it out
so i'm going to go ahead and open one side of the um the flail so that we can have an opening that will be at the armhole so once i am done stitching this look see this is the body you are done um stitching the shoulder line as well and we are going to go ahead and attach our flay. And for this flay, we are going to I'm going to open up my body and then open up my flay, my sleeve. For this sleeve, we, are, we cut out the length to be the same because when you look at the picture we are trying to recreate, you see that the armhole is cut out the same, um, the same length. So I'm going to go ahead and place the small um, flay add on the big one and then I'm going to stitch the stitch it down to keep it in place so that it doesn't keep moving by the time you want to attach it. Once I am done with that, I'm going to place these front bodies facing the front sleeve and then I'm going to go ahead and stitch it all the way down on the armhole. If there is a little bit of excess, please plate it into the armhole. And this is what we have once we are done stitching it down. You see, is give is um exactly what we have on the picture. So I'm going to get hem the sleeve, the hem um hem the sleeve and then stitch it down, hem it by half inch. Then we're going to go ahead and stitch on the same side. And for this, please make sure you arrange your fabric very well. And then I'm going to go ahead and stitch it down. Remember, we added 1.5 inches allowance. I'm going to be stitching at 1.5 inches, or you can as well um, remeasure it to be on the safer side. And I'll do the same thing for the other side. So, this is it. After I was done stitching it down, the next thing we are going to do is to attach our flay. And for this, this is our flay coming into play <laughs> i'm going to go ahead and do the same thing front facing front for for the hemming area i'm going to serge it and then um fold it by half half inch but well, i'm going to take it to the local store i do not have a surgeon machine so i'm going to go ahead and open my front my bodies and then place the front of my bodies um to the front of my flay and then i'm going to stitch it down remember this is going to have a little bit of excess like i said split it into the same line so this is it after i am done you can see that even the excess you can't notice it because it's just a small tiny something in case there's need for adjustment <laughs> so this is it after i was done the next thing i'm going to do is to close up the zipper area and then attach my zip so this is it after i was done i also went ahead to attach the pair that i have i have just four i had just four so i attached it. you can do as much as get making yours to get to the back and that's basically all for this tie i hope you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up if you do don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed to my channel thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye